Since the Ryzen 5 7600X could offer the same level of gaming performance as the i9-12900K, it has become a flagship killer. My goal with this PC was to play games at 1440p and even try some 4K gaming on it by undergoing the compromises I would make with a budget PC. The parts I chose for this PC are essentially the most sensible options and the graphics card in particular was the main interest. The Ryzen 5 7600X has enough horsepower to keep up with anything. I did want to go with the RX 7800 XT, but the $400 price tag of the XFX Speedster SWFT319 Radeon RX 6800 convinced me otherwise. For budget 1440p gaming, the RX 6800 is still the best option as it not only has graphical horsepower on par with the Xbox Series X, it should also last a very long time thanks to the 16GB buffer. Moving on, I did not struggle to choose the RAM and SSD. I went with the Corsair Vengeance 32GB DDR5 6000CL30 for the RAM and the 1TB stick of Crucial P5+. Plus. A combination of these two is going to result in an ultra-fast experience. For the motherboard, I went with the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, which is simply one of the best value AM5 motherboards. The most interesting thing is that its VRM is really strong, especially for a B650 board. The 14-phase 80-amp VRM is on par with budget X670 boards, so if you upgrade this PC to a 7950X, you can run it easily with an intense overclock completely stable, and it even comes with two 8-pin CPU ports for higher power delivery, just like X670 boards. The rear I.O. is near perfect. Everything that I want in a rear I.O. is present like plenty of ultra-fast USB 3.2 ports, two separate USB 2.0 type A ports with four peripherals, and a complete array of audio jacks. The only thing missing from the rear I.O. is the CMOS clear button. For cooling, since the Ryzen 5 7600X's stock cooler is missing, I went with the Thermalright Peerless Assassin 120SE, which will keep the CPU cooler under 70 degrees Celsius during intense workloads. For the PC case, I went with the Fractal Design Pop Air. It is a medium-sized case with plenty of airflow, and the amazing color options give it a lot of personality. Lastly, to power this PC, I chose the Corsair RM750E which is an 80-plus gold-rated ATX 3.0 750-watt PSU. It will have no issue powering everything even if it had an RTX 4090, as the 12 VHPWR connector can drive up to 600 watts from a single cable. In conclusion, if you need to build a PC that will last long and be upgraded easily, then the AM5 platform offers that same opportunity as the AM4 platform did. I was able to piece together a very fast 1440p PC for around $1,200 with the Ryzen 5 7600X and RX 6800 with the goal of getting the best performance at the lowest possible price. As always, you can check all the components mentioned in the description.